thought uh, the A's played with a lot more intensity than the first half. They came out. They physically at times were overpowering. Um, I don't like the way we responded to that. I think guys got a little bit too confident going into the halftime. We tried to wake them up and say, hey, this game ain't over. But uh, how it works sometimes, uh, you got to hold on and win. And uh, I got to look at what all happened, all these free throws and technicals and disqualification. I have no idea. I. I didn't know if we were shooting, or I don't think anyone knew. So um, it's important in, in a situation like that that you keep, keep your calm, make sure no one gets really stupid out there. And I thought uh, both teams did a better job once it settled down. What we did see by our team was excellent team play, 27 assists, I think. And um, that's what's always there the recently, the last weeks uh, with the Slayton team. I mean, we're, we're a team. We're not about an individual. We always move the ball. We try to. We got to learn to still handle pressure better. You know, the physicality with the pressure at the same time. The game got pretty physical, okay? So that happens, but you've got to deal with it. And uh, we do move the ball well. We try to find the open guys. But tonight, we, in the crucial times, we're a little stagnant and holding the ball a little bit too much. The boss might be the favorite for the Dutch title, but if you can take the pole position, it might be very interesting finals. Are you playing for that pole position now to climb over the boss in the, in the next games? Like I said before the game, uh, we just play every game to win, and uh, whatever happens at the end happens. Okay, we'll see that. Thank you. Thank you. Marijn Profies zat met deze overwinning. Jullie stonden bijna heel de wedstrijd op voorsprong, maar je moet dat natuurlijk over de streep trekken. Hè? Hoe deden jullie dat? Oeh, uh, eigenlijk niet echt. Ik vond, uh, we waren, we waren niet, zo, niet zo best, tweede helft. Zij uh, gingen wat fysieker spelen, wat ze, wat ze heel goed deden. Uh, wij verwachten een beetje dat de scheidsrechters wat gingen fluiten wat ze niet deden. Uh, dan moeten we dan eigenlijk gewoon doorheen spelen en niet verwachten dat de scheidsrechters ons gaan helpen in, uh, in die situaties. Ja, werd er te veel contact toegelaten volgens jou? Nou ja, zij deden gewoon wat ze moesten doen. Dat zouden wij ook doen als we achter staan. Dus dat, is gewoon, ja, dat doe je natuurlijk als, uh, als ploeg. Uh, als je wilt terugkomen, dan ga je net een tandje bij. En dat deden ze heel goed. En wij gingen een beetje denk ik, iets te passief spelen. En uh, ja, we kregen gewoon niet echt goede aanvallen meer. Het was allemaal te ver buiten Driepenswijn. Uh, dus uh, ja, dat was, dat was niet best, maar ik ben blij dat we hem uh, net over de streep hebben getrokken. En je moest het opnemen tegen Rodriguez, een van de beste guards in de liga. Hoe ja. was het om tegen hem te spelen? Ja, het was, uh, was ja, een leuke matchup. Hij, uh, hij is wat kleiner dan ik en uh, ik denk ook iets rapper. Dus ik had uh, hier en daar wel wat, uh, wat problemen met, uh, met zijn snelheid en zijn, uh, zijn dribbles. Uh, maar ja, ik ben, uh, ik ben blij dat we gewoon als team, uh, als team hebben gewonnen en daar, daar doen we het voor. Ja, je zegt het als team, want je had weer geen enkel probleem om jouw ploegmaats te vinden. Elf assists. Hoe komt dat toch, Marijn? Uh, ja, dit jaar gaat het sowieso wel lekker met, uh, met, uh, met de assist. Uh, ja, ik moet natuurlijk danken aan mijn teamgenoten, die, uh, die maken die ballen af. Uh, maar ja ik, ik, ja, ik begin er zelf ook beter in te worden. Ik maak soms nog steeds niet uh, de goede beslissingen, maar ik probeer zoveel mogelijk wel te doen. Dus, uh, yeah. Het spel zat op de wagen, helemaal op het einde. Wat ja. zag jij gebeuren? Ja, het was een beetje, ik denk, opge... vanuit onze kant een beetje opgehoopt uh, frustratie dat we wat, uh, wat Kals niet meekregen. Uh, en ja, ze maken een harde fout. Luc reageert daarop en daarna gaat iedereen, uh, duikt iedereen op. Het was denk ik een beetje, ja, misschien een beetje jammer voor de wedstrijd. Ik was vooral bang, uh, er zaten wat kleine meisjes ook uh, die, de, die vegen, die lagen onder. Dus ik was vooral bezig met iedereen daar wegkrijgen. Maar uh, ja, wat, uh, ja het, het is natuurlijk nooit leuk zoiets, maar uh, het was ook niet uh, ja, het einde van de wereld, zo maar te zeggen. Ooit is ons een beetje bij. Dank u wel, Marijn. Milos, unfortunately for Liège, no victory. But we did see a lot of energy in the second half. That was important. Yeah, I think uh, we responded well in the second half. Uh, we, didn't, we didn't play maybe in the right way in the first half, but still we stay in the game and after that we respond well. And I think we had a one possession game, especially against a good team like Leiden is. And I think, I think uh, we have right to be in some part satisfied and, and to hope that to fight for, uh, for the first place. What was it like for you to play there? Um, for the first game back um, after um, on the highest on the highest level. Yeah, it was it was emotional for me. It it was obvious because, like you said, uh, I was that maybe a weak part in, in the first half. It was me. I made a couple mistakes when I came in, but really, even in this stage of my career and my in my age, uh, it was difficult for me to respond in a, in the right way. I hope uh, in next period I will respond much better and try to help this team. Emotional? How come? 
Are you grateful that they asked you to come back? Yeah, of course I'm grateful. I'm thankful for the organization and for everybody there and, and coach and first coach and players who accept me well. Like I'm there for full season, but I just came like two days ago and before that I was on on some trip where I even didn't practice for a week. So I was connected with the team all year with the second team and organization, but Last two days, it's my first two days with the, with the first team and I hope in the next period I will respond much better than today. It's not easy, I guess, you played with the second team. Yes. This is a totally other level, of course. Yeah, it's another level, but still I'm familiar with this level and still I I work hard to stay in the shape. And like I said, I think I can help the team and to do a much better job than I did today. Coach, no win here tonight in Leiden. We didn't see the right mentality, I think, in the first half, especially in the second quarter. But you came out very strong and with a lot of energy out of the locker room. Yeah, I'm proud of the response. Um, kind of been our Achilles heel all year is uh, how we approach games or halves. We didn't approach it right in the first half. Um, we came out with the right sense of urgency and want to in the second half, and I'm proud of the response. Um, just we played too good of teams to not do it for both halves. Uh, but I'm proud of the response from the guys. Yes, and I think Kevin Tumba was maybe leading that response. He was diving to every ball on the floor. Yeah, all of our guys, I think. They just took it upon themselves to impact the game a little bit more on the defensive end. The brawl, what did you see? We saw Higgins reacting on uh, Van, Van Bray. What did you see? Yeah, we're going to protect our guys. And again, I don't want to talk about refs or anything. The refs let this game get out of control. So that's on them. They got to figure it out, watch some film. But we're going to protect our guys 100%. If one of our guys gets screamed at in their face, we got somebody coming for you. So we're, we're ready for uh, the next game in Liège. You're ready about the next games, especially after what you saw in the second half. This is promising for the, for the rest of the season, I think. One more question about Rodriguez. I think he's your top scorer, but did he lack some freshness in the end? Um, I mean, Angel's been doing this a long time. I have no concerns about him playing a lot of minutes, especially with Briu's injury. Um, that's what we need of him, and he's ready for it. He's mentally prepared for, for playing a lot of minutes, so no concerns there. Um, again, we just got to come ready to play for 40 minutes. This is not a 20 minute game, not a 38 minute game, it's a 40 minute game. If we play for 40 minutes, we can compete and beat anybody. But if we don't, we can lose to anybody. Um, and that's what we gotta focus on going forward. Thank you, coach. Thank you.